because of the plunder of the developing world by their corrupt ruling elites the gap between the rich and the poor countries is increasing at an alarming speed through this platform i've been drawing the world's attention towards the scourge of illicit financial flows from developing countries the secretary general's high level panel of financial accountability transparency and integrity called the factai panel has calculated that a staggering 7 trillion dollars in stolen assets are parked in financial haven destinations this organized theft and illegal transfer of assets has profound consequences for the developing nations it depletes their already meager resources accentuates the levels of poverty especially when laundered money puts pressure on the currency and leads to its devaluation at the current rate when the factai panel estimates that a trillion dollars every year is taken out of the developing world there will be a mass exodus of economic migrants towards the richer nations what the east india company did to india the crooked ruling elites are doing to the developing world plundering the wealth and transferring it to western capitals and offshore tax havens and mr president retrieving the stolen assets from the developed countries is impossible for poor nations the rich countries have no incentives or compulsion to return this ill gotten wealth and this ill gotten wealth belongs remember to the masses of the developing world i foresee in the not too distant future a time will come when the rich countries will be forced to build walls to keep out economic migrants from these poor countries i fear a few wealthy islands in the sea of poverty will also turn into a global calamity like climate change the general assembly must take steps meaningfully to address this deeply disturbing and morally repugnant situation naming and shaming the haven destinations and developing a comprehensive legal framework to halt and reverse the illicit financial flows are most critical actions to stop this great economic injustice and at a minimum the recommendations of the secretary general's factai panel should be fully implemented <laughs>